help. I need somebody help, not just anybody. No one's younger, so much younger. That's it. Impressive. Memorable. Terrifying. Um, motion picture. Films, Marvel films with um, superheroes, um, Superman, Spider-Man, and all the rest. Very popular with audiences. And um, I was thinking that <laughs> this is a kind of superhuman <laughs> narrative that they should watch. We should all watch because we have a role model here. We have a super woman. Talk of Wonder Woman and Bat Woman. Bat Woman, is it the thing? I think it is, right? Bat Woman. Bat Woman. Anyway, uh, I, I'm not, as it's clear by now, I'm not into this universe. Mm -hmm. what, Superman and so on. Well, there are a few that are decent, I hear. Uh, but, uh, and I've seen a few, but I'm not for it. Uh, on the other hand, this is uh, the saga that tells you to quote um, Chief Obama from Get Shot. Um, I'm the one who's telling you the way it is. And and Shorty now has a different significance uh, for yours truly. Shorty from the Kremlin, we had to get Shorty from the Kremlin somehow. Um, has a Napoleon complex and so many other challenges. That guy. Um, he started, they said, okay, we'll concentrate on the East. But now they started uh, sending missiles to the West. Lviv, we have to stop using the Russian names. Lviv, uh, Kiev, not Kiev. Um, because they sent their flagship, which they said they didn't, not the Ukrainians. Let's try and get back. So, the pandemic. In the pandemic, we had this uh, fantastic thing, but, but real. Okay, okay. that's. That's what's so important here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure uh, that Sarah portrayed perfectly by Jodie Comer. Uh, six buck buck nominations, did I mention? The French hands. Um, I'm not sure Sarah really existed per se, but as someone said, I don't know if it was William Burke or somebody else. Um, Fictional characters sometimes are more real than the real ones. Mm, that wasn't the expression, although if it was, uh, if it were taught like that, it would be just to make a point. Um, they have more value, uh, more intense, acute reality than real, because they can, as opposed to a real nurse we don't know about, uh, they're Sarah. Fictional. Has a life that extends all the way to here. Mm -hmm. Thousands of miles away from UK, from what happened there. But still, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, disturbed by that. So, so she's a nurse in a care home. A nurse. I'm, uh, Help. I'm not sure I would escape from her, her role exactly, but she has to be a uh, jack of all trades. She has to do everything at one point because with the pandemic, with shortages, they don't have PPE while they're in Ethiopia. Um, I mean, I respected, um, I have respected uh, Boris Johnson, she's so really smart, uh, well educated, Oxford. His history had 
many skills, but it's such an immoral bastard. Parties after party, party after party. All these people were dying, and Sarah is left alone, no protection. The others are sick, they, 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 it's not their shift, and so, she, so she has to do all she can. Then, and it, as I said, uh, it's the super woman. Yeah? Really exist. There were thousands and thousands like her. Um, and doing so much under not just because telephone circumstances. Uh, she like it's true that this this case is going a, a bit further. She's taking Tony. Excellent, wonderful. Stephen Van. Had so many roles. One I remember was he's doing um, Al Capone in Boardwalk Empire. Uh, but not so much, so much more. Not so far. A British acting school is kind of okay. Um, and um, calling, just doing a note on calling, which is so important when you see this here. Uh, you, first of all, you find your calling by looking at three groups of uh, things. You have the things you like, you have the things you good at doing, and you have the things which have meaning for you. And where these groups intersect, those activities which are in all three, that's where you have to look for your calling. Otherwise, it's a problem. And I will refer to an example of test. They looked in hospitals. Home cares maybe too. Um, to, to see how this plays out. The, so we were divided into three groups. You have uh, in each job, if you will, you have people who just do their job. Well, maybe they're for each. I forgot the proportion. But then, then you have those who do it to. Have a career to come up the ladder, but the third part of the group in which you would want to be is those who have a call, a vocation, and they do it because they love it, and that's Sarah. Uh, and in this situation, uh, you had janitors who were happier to go to work, where like Sarah, but Sarah is, is super human again. Real but super, and not like, but still, those in the vocation from that you know, would go. It was noticed in real tests that they go to work and they love it, they interact with people, uh, even if they're janitors and they're just able to clean, they see this as having meaning. That, 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 that's not just they work the floor and uh, bored or disgusted, they see this as having importance, and on top of that. They would communicate with patients. They would, you want me to fix this painting for you? And so on and so on and so on. Shall I open the window? And from this they would have. And they were happier than doctors would fall in one of the two other categories. In particular, I would say those who just do, do, do this because they're paid. So, very special film.